in doubt. And I hope you dropped there if I'm choking on clout. And my man caught a hole in the scout on his birthday. And if you from my town, then you know what it's about. Selling them lies. Me, I'm just selling the vibe. To live life and trying to have me a hell of a time. Get it with rap. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, that is Briz Rothstein's private lecture EP. Uh, the beats are by Benji Socrates. It's actually a pretty dope um, EP. I had peeped it the other day, you know what I'm saying, and on his on Briz Rothstein's YouTube channel. But that's not what I'm here for. Um, but it is, you know, in a sense, you know what I'm saying. It's always good to talk about the artists and their music and things like that, their endeavors, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. How all y'all doing today? I hope all is well. Um, Briz Rothstein. Briz Rothstein, you know, the thing about Briz, I will say this, is his name has the staying power because a lot of people are talking about him. So ARP, you know ARP. And the thing about Rare Breed Entertainment, salute to ARP and everything that they do, I respect what they do and they handle as far as in the battle rap culture. He knows how to get the wheels moving. Like he's been doing this for a long enough time that if he talks about certain things, he knows people's gonna respond. So he has a whole blog about the return of Briz Rothstein or when's Briz Rothstein gonna battle again and things like that. So my man Skinny was here. Salute to Skinny was here on Twitter. Uh, you know what I'm saying? He jumped um he he asked me earlier today a question that said uh Vita Fly Showtime SP which battler does the game miss more? Briz or Chess saying you know which which battle rapper does the game miss more? And um, he, he dropped a donation too. And I, I wanted to address his question today. It was funny because I was gonna address it anyway, but now I have more of a motivation to. So, you know what I'm saying? Because I thought that it was a good question in the way that it was catered. So salute to my man Skinny was here. He says, um, who does the game miss more? I said, Briz, and f it's not even close. The reason why it's not even close is because even though they did come in at the same time, you can see chess URL can get chess whenever they want to. If they call chess today, have a bag. Yo, we got a bag. We want you to battle Holmesy or we want you to battle Loso. He's he's not too far away. So chess's situation is more so the preparation, getting the battles that he wanted. Well, he got a battle that he wanted in K-Shine. That was the battle. He said, if you give me K-Shine, if you give me K-Shine, y'all gonna get the re. Y'all gonna get what y'all want. Y'all going I'm gonna show y'all and that battle was like So even like it, I don't know how that works, you know what I'm saying? Like I don't know what motivates him. I know when he was battling with Tay Rock in the Loaded Hollows joint, I knew he was gonna bring it because Rock is not gonna let him go out like that. You know what I'm saying? Rock cares more about who he is. He cares about not choking in battles. He has so many battles where he doesn't choke, doesn't slip. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's gonna have a, a million perfect performances, but he's not gonna let that happen. So I knew him being on a team with somebody would do good for him, but when he's by himself, it's just something about uh, him in those battles that just doesn't pan out all the time. He's a phenomenal talent. I'm from the Bronx. I fuck with what Chess does. But in order to keep it a buck, I got to be honest. So um, when it comes to Briz, Briz's career came to a screeching halt. You see what I'm saying? Like he was doing the big stages. He was He's the reason like a lot of these newer guys was getting bigger looks. He helped put on a whole region. That whole Carolina, him, T-Top, they put that whole region on. Like I know that there's a lot of rookies who's from the South, they try to differentiate North Carolina from South Carolina, and this Carolina, from that Carolina, East Carolina. Well, listen, it was Briz and T-Top, just like Verb was the Midwest. It is what it is, we can't rewrite history. Now you may not like the way the history class is going, but we're not gonna rewrite history, right? Okay, salute to you all, only y'all out there on that. So, Briz, the situation with the mook shit, you know what I'm saying, like that, put a pause to his career, but his career is incomplete because there's so many people that we would like to see Briz against. I definitely would like to see Briz back in the ring. Who don't want to see Briz? You know what I'm saying? And I understand that with him not being in the battle rap, you had him leaving abruptly. Then you had him versus Mook booked. Then you had Briz's man, long live Zay, pass away. So when Zay passed away, and this is, like I said, this is the closest I've heard to what the reason was. I don't know. I never, I haven't spoke to Briz about it. You know what I'm saying? The last time I spoke to Briz was some months ago, and it was before, I think it was before 
him and Mook was even booked. Because that was what he was saying. He wasn't coming back unless he got Mook. That was the last time I spoke to Briz. Um, I would speak to him again. I don't want no interview or anything, but I would talk to him as far as, like, the battle rap shit, if that's what he intends to do. But uh, I don't want to, like, interview and, like, get on camera with him and shit like that because a lot of people are trying to get at him for clout. So I've never asked him for that, and I never would. But um, as far as, like, speaking in general, I would. But um, so he moves, marches to the beat of his own drum, and when the situation happened with Zay, this is just what I heard. I heard that he wanted to push the battle back one event. Like, he wanted to push it back one event. Now, URLs with Caffeine. Caffeine got this money involved. You know how that shit goes. Like, look, we the boss. We want this battle to happen on this day. If he's not doing it, we need somebody else. So, I couldn't understand why it in a sense i understand from a business perspective but if you had to go get rock to battle mook anyway the battle was getting pushed back so why couldn't he just get pushed back for briz but that's just my personal thought so and i'm hearing that and i'm hearing the way it got presented and the way briz kind of got thrown under the bus he was just like over url just saying it like this so now you have arp you know, ARP, he's like a puppet master. He knows exactly the things to say. Because you know, the thing is, the, the, the thing about ARP is he's good enough to where he can, he, he's, a, he's a great league owner, but he's a very good blogger. He's really calculated. He knows how to fucking, like he, when it comes to the history, history, yo, don't play with that nigga. That nigga will pull out some shit from motherfucking two, three years ago. And in this interview, he was like, he, he pieces this shit together really well. He's good at this, you know what I'm saying? And he's very calculated. Like, you can't fuck with ARP on that shit. But um, he knows how to get the wheels moving. He knows how to get the people talking. He's provocative. It gets the people going. It gets the people going. Are you not entertained? Like, he knows how to do that shit. So... Um, he knows if he has a conversation about Briz Ross, name motherfuckers is gonna be talking about. It. He know people gonna watch it, and he know people gonna speculate. Did Briz and him have a conversation? I'm pretty sure they did. I'm pretty sure they did. <laughs> I would have no doubt with that. Now look, ARP has a connection with Murder Moot because Murder Moot battled on Red Breed. ARP got a connection with Mad Battle Rappers. For the right price, for the right money, for the right situation, I could see Briz coming back. And the reason why I can see Briz coming back is because that battle rap money don't last forever. <laughs> Trust that battle rap money does not last forever. If Briz at his best, at his best, was cracking 10 grand, and I don't know if he was, I'm not speculating on no man pockets, not battling in a year, nigga, you got to go to work, you gonna have to hustle, you gonna have to do some shit to get to that type of, type of paper. And to get that kind of money for a hobby, Nigga, shit, listen, here, <laughs> he he want to get to that bag again. Um, and the question was, that was the question. So who's more, who's more, whose comeback is more wanted? I would say Briz, because Chess just battled a couple months ago versus uh, Sean, and we seen how that went. Um, and you could get Sean. Whenever they want him, they can get him. So Skinny was here, salute to you, but um, that's just how I'm looking at it. Uh, as far as somebody, and another question was, if he came back, did it have to be against Murder Moot? I really feel like that ship has sailed already. Like, he's gonna, if he comes back, right? If Briz was to come back, he's gonna take the lumps, the initial lumps. Like when Tay Rock battled against Geechee, you know, the, your seat belts ain't strapped because you don't ride with your nigga. But it's a small room pandem pandemic, small room pandemic era. I was trying to say pandemic era. Pandemic era, the era of the pandemic, the small room pandemic era. Okay, we got it. So it would be best to take that initial whatever comes with it, the disses, the angles. It'd be best to take that now before waiting for 2,000 people to be back on stage and you take that shit in front of 2,000 people. Uh, Rock took his licks, his beating, his 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 bars about his situation with the door and the chant. He took all of that in front of 2,000 people. <laughs> Or a thousand people went for in front of Geechee. He still fought back and had a fire battle. But what I'm saying is, it's gonna happen. Like whatever the situation happens, is battle rap. Whatever goes on, it's gonna be rapped about initially. But then after that, people get over it. You life goes on. Like nigga, shit. Okay, the situation cool. It could have happened to anybody. Shit goes on. So, but I don't think it's so much about that because Briz can rap. 
so as long as Briz can actually rap, then nobody's ever taking that away. The fact that he can actually motherfucking rap and rap very well. His EP, Private Lectures, make sure you check that out. Benji Socrates, what up? But um, I think and I feel like we're gonna see Briz in 2021. Uh, I feel like we could see him on Rare Breed Entertainment. ARP don't just do this type of shit. Like he don't just be titling blogs Briz Rothstein, he don't be doing that shit for no reason. Trust me, dog. I've been around this shit long enough to know that uh, Briz versus Math could happen over there. Briz versus Big K. Briz versus Jag. Shit, Briz versus Mook could happen on Rare Breed. It really could. It. Why couldn't it? He know Mook. He got Mook number. He, he knows Mook's numbers. He booked the motherfucker before. He could book him again. I'm just saying. Um, but for me personally. Would I like to see Briz Rothstein again? Hell yeah, I'd like to see Briz Rothstein again. Why wouldn't I? Motherfucker at his best, the Mac rounds. I leave the body hanging halfway out the bag like a hash brown. Like, come on, we missed that shit. And that entertainment was dope. And he could do it in the small rooms. A lot of people saying Briz Rothstein could not do it in the small rooms. But you didn't peep Briz Rothstein versus Mr. Wavy. You're bugging. He went crazy on that nigga. The title, Wave. The book would be entitled, Wave. I'm gone. That nigga stay up. Let me know what y'all think. Gang.